Hi YouTube, today I got the Nerf and Strike Stampede ECS. So I got this gun for Christmas and it's a really old gun and I'm really excited to open it because it's really old and it's ultimate fully auto. So here's the front of the box. And the back. And this is super heavy. And this gun takes six D batteries, not included, so. This gun is awesome. Got a hand grip, it's big. And it attaches to a tactical rail. lot of darts. Instructions. It says on the box 60, but there's more darts here. And these are instructions. These instructions are cool. This is the like the first time I've ever I've ever seen Nerf make instructions in color. That's so awesome. So we got attention. Do not insert more than 18 darts into extended clip. Let's see, we got one, two, three 18 dark clips. That is awesome. One six dark clip. And this giant, bigger than I thought, riot shield. And it's cool about this riot shield is you don't slide it on the tactical rail like most attachments. You could just squeeze it and put it on the tactical rail. And it has this eye part so you can look through, but the bullets aren't big enough so they won't go all the inside and hit your eye. So that's good. And we got six darts in this little pack of darts. It looks like this is for the six dart clip. And all three of these must be for the 18 dart clip. And last, we got our main thing, the stampede. So first what you need to do is put the batteries in and the battery compartment is in the back right here and to open it you need a Phillips crosshead screwdriver. When you're done unscrewing the screws then the battery compartment will easily just slide out. And then when it slides out you can see inside the gun but you're gonna take six D batteries. It's a lot of batteries. And put them in. So it only fires when the clip is in, so you need the clip in. And there's this switch. When the switch is up, it doesn't work. Even with the clip in. But when the switch is down, it, it works and it's fun time. And if the clip is not in, it will not fire. So let's talk about this grip. The grip is really big and it's bigger than the retaliator grip. But it's not just a hand grip. If, if, if you wanna be like a sniper or something, you can push, push this button right here and a bipod pops out. And you can have it like this. And you can put it anywhere you want on the gun. And to put the legs back in, you just close them and stick them back in. So you could put them like here, I just showed you, or here. I would put it right here. So. I'm gonna really use this, because this thing is super duper heavy. So, here's the riot shield. Now, like I told you, the riot shield has this squeezer thing, and just put it on, not unlike most guns, and you could like, you could just squeeze it, and fit it on right here. And it's kind of hard when you put it on, because there's so much stuff in the way. 
but it can go on like this, in the very front. On the box, it shows it in the very front, but you don't have to do the very front, like, it could go up here, too, if you wanted. Like this. So, yeah, this riot shield is really cool. And this gun comes with one, two, three, four, five, six tactical rifts. One, two on the bottom, one, two on the top, one on one side, one on the other side. And this gun also has, let's see, let's say one, two, and I wouldn't really count these, but you could, so like four sling adapters. And it already has a scope built in for you. But know this, that whenever you put this on, if you look through the scope, you can't see anything. You just see a, bigger sh a big shield. If you put the shield on right here, you can see through your scope. But on the box, it shows the right shield, like right here. So, I have the riot shield, this, and I would, I think it's better with an 18 dart clip in. Cause with six darts, you're gonna go super fast. If you peel this sticker off the 18 dart clip, I can show you what it looks like all put together. If you put the 18 dart clip in here, it looks like this all together. And then, and you're definitely ready for a big battle with this. And to take the clip out, don't just pull it out. Pull this down, and then you can pull the clip out, like that. And on the clip, on one side it says 18 max printed, and the other side it says it with the sticker. And it also says nerf too. And that's with all the clips. So. Here's it with the six dart clip. And here's it. It's an 18 dart clip. And it definitely looks cooler with an 18 dart clip. So I'm gonna load all these clips with ammo and then I'm gonna shoot it for you. Okay, so one more thing before I shoot it, I wanna show you is it has a little glass door on this side, not the other side, only this side. But when you fire it, it shows you, it shows you how it fires. I'm gonna, I loaded all these clips here and I'm gonna just fire it. So let's start off with our six start clip. And it also has a jam door, by the way. And it's a giant jam door. So I turn it on and let's go. Okay, there we go. That fired pretty far. Let's get our 18 dart clip out. Oh. So it starts from here. Then we go this one, this one, and then a bunch, most of them landed over here. So from there to here is about, let's say 23 feet, I think. And then some came over here. This is about 28 feet. And then the one that went the farthest is over here. It actually 
hit the wall. And what probably happened is like, I'd say this start would be our farthest. This start is our winner. So I say this gun shoots from 35 to 40 feet. I say this gun is um, shoots pretty far, and I say it's really good, and I really recommend this gun. I recommend this gun more than the Vulcan because this gun has all these attachments. It barely ever jams, this gun. This gun is so good that this is now my most favorite Nerf gun that I have. Bye YouTube, thanks for watching, and please subscribe.